G'day, welcome to the video. In this particular episode, what I'm going to do is trial a set of brake pads that we've been looking at for a while now. I've tried a various types of these under racing conditions and street riding conditions and things like that, but I haven't tried this particular one. And basically it's the Brembo SR Racing Version Pad. So it's a high performance pad that is suitable for street riding and that type of thing. It's not the full competition pad. But before I talk about that specifically, just a couple of things. A lot of people think that if you just go full competition, you know, you put carbon brakes on ceramic pads and all of these fancy things that they use in the high level racing, that they're gonna get better braking. And nothing could be further from the truth because when it comes to braking, you've gotta be conscious of the use of the bike and the amount of temperature you're getting in the front. So for example, MotoGP bikes, when they run carbon discs and carbon pads, they're generating a lot of heat and they get the weight advantage, you know, the reduced rotating mass, the reduced mass of the brakes themselves with the carbon, but you'll notice that when they go to wet weather, because there's lower temperatures, they put steel back on. So don't fall into the trap of just going whacking competition pads on your street bike and running around thinking you're gonna get better braking, because that's not the case. So having said that, the uh, Brembo SR version, the first thing I noticed about these is they're a lot more aggressive than the standard factory pads. And a thing you've got to be conscious of is when you have a more aggressive pad, which is what you're going to get in the racing version, it is going to accelerate the wear on the disc to some degree. So you've got to be conscious of that. The second thing you've got to be conscious of is with increased braking power, you better make sure you've got some good tyres on here because the tyres are what creates the contact with the bitumen. And if you're braking harder and you're braking with more force, then the tyre is what's going to make it work by gripping the road. Um, so what else can I cover? Okay, the other thing is fitting these pads to the BMW S1000RR. We made a specific video about this. You can replace these pads in a couple of minutes. I think a full set of pads on the front will take around about 10 minutes because you can replace the pad without removing the caliper. All you simply do is remove the pin on the inside that holds the retaining spring in place then once you pull those pins out, pull the retaining spring out, you can just drop the uh, new pads in and then assemble it. And like I said, it takes around about 10 minutes to do. Now, the testing themselves. Um, the SR pad, basically I chose these because they're gonna be a high performance pad that performs close to the competition type pad at higher temperatures, but it's not a full competition one. The difference between the SR pad and a full competition pad is this has a higher friction coefficient at a lower temperature. So where it starts to flip is when you get over 200 degrees Celsius, then the competition pad is going to have a higher coefficient, uh, friction coefficient than the street performance one but it's highly unlikely that you're gonna get your pads that hot. So this is gonna be a better performer below 200 degrees Celsius at the front end. Now, um, a couple of things about the testing. All we simply did was we went out on the road um, early one morning. Now, we bedded them in. I think I you know, gave it a good half dozen super hard braking uh, sessions in a straight line to bed the pads in. And then we went up and down a range, which is a total of 263 corners each direction and uh, got a really good chance to find out what these pads were like. Now, a couple of observation about, uh, observations about these particular pads. First of all, uh, very aggressive braking, I love it. Right? I love the feel, you know, what you, the braking feel you get on the BMW S1000. And anyone who's ever ridden one of these knows that straight from the factory, with the factory fitted pads, the braking on this uh, particular bike is phenomenal. Now, whack a set of these in here and you've got some serious braking power, right? So it's a little bit better than the factory original ones. Uh, what I particularly like about them is the progressiveness of the, of the braking. As you squeeze harder, it just brakes harder. It's not like one of these things that just goes full brake the moment you squeeze it on. But having said that, it's still an aggressive brake that what you've got on there. The other thing that you'll notice is that they don't fade. Uh, it's very easy to trail brake into corners because of the progressive braking. And uh, all around, I really like these pads, you know, and I'm gonna to continue to run these. It's the Brembo Racing SR. Now, how do you actually find out information about these things? If you go to, onto the Brembo website, and you look it up on Google, they've got a configurator there. And in the configurator for the motor motorcycles, you can just type in your brand, the year model, the engine size, um, the model of the bike, 
and it will give you a number of choices, right? So it'll show you something that you can buy that is gonna be a factory replacement. Brembo provide the brakes, or did provide the brakes for these pre-2020 BMWs. So it came out with Brembo pads, and you can actually go and buy those again, the factory replacement ones. Um, but you'll see, you get a range of options there. You get the performance option, and in many cases, you're gonna get the racing or competition option. So uh, there you go. Um, one last question that I get asked by people is, would you recommend these types of pads for people who are just commuting and driving, you know, not so aggressively on a motorcycle? And I'd go 100%, right? These things, um, these SR pads are a, a, a high performance pad that perform very well at low temperatures, which is an important part of this. So if you're just commuting and driving around, right, you whack that brake on an emergency stop out on the street, it's going to pull you up pretty severely, uh, pretty quickly. So uh, definitely, go and get yourself a set. Brembo Racing Pads, the SR version, and uh, I'm sure you're going to be pretty happy with those.